What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about Reset tomorrow here in Destiny 2. Of course, tomorrow will be Tuesday, March the 8th. First of all, let's jump right into it and talk about some of the things we can see or expect to see in the store tomorrow for Bright Dust. There will be several items returning to the store that we have seen in the past, kind of like the Track Shell, which is a 30th anniversary shell, the, Vanta uh, the Fantastic Ghost Shell as well, and also the Forerunner Ornament. But there are a couple new things that have only been added since Season of the Risen have began or has begun. Uh, that will be the Maximal uh, Emote, also the Time Honored Shader, and the Sight Sparrow, along with three ornaments for each individual class. So the Hunter, Warlock, and the Titan will all three get ornaments. And these will be the chest pieces of the new Season of the Risen kind of ornament set. I'm sure you guys have seen this set in the store. Of course, if you have a Titan, you know, you've probably seen those Titans running around with that purple shield on their back, or the Hunters with the, you know, kind of the... Uh, cross swords on their chest that is the kind of complete set you can buy in the store but this week we're actually going to get to buy the individual chest pieces for each one of these characters so if you would like to get your hands on those make sure you log in on each individual characters to pick those up also this week we'll get 10 new weekly challenges also deep stone crypt and vault of glass will have challenges along with powerful gear rewards again for this week so deep stone crypt will be the red rover challenge which will give you an additional chest in Vault of Glass, you will get the Gatekeeper Challenge, which will give you an additional chest. And if you do that on Master, you have a chance to get that God Rolled uh, Rocket Launcher from the Vault of Glass, which is one of the best rocket launchers uh, on the Legendary side in the game. A lot of people really love it. Uh, when it comes to Crucible, Team Scorch will be on the playlist this week. Also, for the Nightfall, we'll actually have one of the new strikes, the Light Blade. So this will be the first time we've got to experience one of the new strikes within you know, the Nightfall kind of scenario. Not sure still on those weapons. I've not seen a confirmed list from Bungie on what the weapons will be each individual week. I will keep my eye out for that. We just realize there's still going to be weapons, just like always, uh, like we've always had in the past with Nightfalls. I'm just not sure on exactly which ones it is. I really don't want to give you the wrong information there. Also, when it comes to Battlegrounds this week, we'll have a new quest, which will kind of just continue that Battleground story. This week, it will require us to destroy Lucid Beacons for the particular mission. The weekly mission for this week will be the communion mission. Now, of course, this is one of the weekly uh, missions you know, from the story. So this is going to be something you can actually get some of that new material for your weapon crafting. Also, a chance to get a pinnacle piece as well. And last but not least, for Dares of Eternity this week, we have the Braytec uh, gear set along with the Lost Pacific gear set. And also, all of the old world loot pool weapons. Uh, will be available as the weapon drops this week so things like the gnawing hunger and so on so some of those old world loot pool weapons will be available in uh dares of eternity anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and i'll catch you all next time peace